Hi everyone and welcome once more for another Fusion 360 challenge of the month. Today we are going to create the challenge for September. So let's get started. First, let's create the rectangular profile. I'm going to hit L for line and select this plane. Left click. I'm going to drop our first point here. Moving up, left click, left click, left click here. I'm going to hover my cursor over our origin and move to the right to have an inferred constraint. Left click and left click here to create a profile. I'm going to hit escape. And now I'm going to hit D to grab our dimension tool. I'm going to select this vertical line. I'm going to drop our dimension here. I'm going to key in 50. Hitting enter. Next, selecting this horizontal line, dropping our dimension here. Keying in 38. Hitting enter. Next, I'm going to hit L to grab our line. Dropping our first point here. Moving to the left. Left click. Hitting escape, selecting this line, and hitting X to make it as a construction line. Hitting D to grab our dimension, selecting this diagonal line and this horizontal line. I'm going to drop our dimension here, left click, keying in 45, hitting enter. Hitting escape and inspecting. So we still need an additional constraint to lock this one up. Hitting D to grab our dimensions, selecting this vertical line. This vertical line, dropping our dimension here. And it's indicated B is equal to 127. Hitting enter. Hitting escape. So we now have a fully constrained profile. I'm going to hit E to grab our extrude, selecting this profile, going to our home view, direction to be symmetric, operation new body, and for the distance, I'm going to key in 76 divided by 2. Hitting OK. So if you want to verify the length of this edge, I can go to Measure and select this edge. Confirmed, it is 76. Hitting Close. Next, I'm going to hit L to grab our line and select this face. So left click here. I'm going to go to our Home View and select Top View. So I'll create our slot on this area. Left click. So I haven't made my left click yet so I'm gonna left click and hold so I'm still holding and pressing my left mouse button release left click and hold and connect this one here hitting escape selecting this line and this arc right click and select tangent next the diameter of this arc is 76 so I can select this one hitting D for dimension I'm gonna type in 76 hitting escape so this is a radius so I can left click this dimension right click and toggle diameter now changing this one to 76 Hitting D once more to grab our dimension, selecting this center point and this center point. Dropping our dimension here, I'm going to key in 178, hitting enter. Next, we're going to create a construction line, hitting L. Left click here and left click this center point, hitting escape, selecting this one. Going to sketch palette, contextual options and selecting normal construction. Next, I'm going to go to sketch. 
and select point. I'm going to drop our point at the midpoint of our construction line. Left click here, hitting escape. And now I'm going to go to constraints and select horizontal vertical. Selecting this midpoint and our origin, hitting escape. And now we can move this profile down. And inspecting our drawing, we have a note saying all rounds equal 6 millimeters. So that round will happen here. So I can hit D, selecting this edge and this horizontal line, dropping our dimension here. I'm going to key in 6. Hitting escape. In addition, let's create the circles as well, hitting C, dropping our center point here, diameter to be 57 for the spot face, hitting C once more, left click here, diameter to be 38, hitting enter. Next, I can mirror these entities to the left and create a mirror line here. But for me, I will opt to create two circles. So hitting C, left click here, center point here, hitting escape, selecting the circle and the circle, right click, selecting equal, left click and control left click this one, right click and select equal. So now we can hit E to extrude, going to home view. Selecting this profile, this profile, this profile, this one, this one, this one. I'm going to grab our arrow up. Operation to be join. And the distance to be negative 26. Hitting OK. Next, I'm going to go to our sketches and turn on the visibility of sketch 2. I'm going to hit E for extrude and select this inner circle and this one as well. So two selected. Dragging our arrow up. Extends to be all. Operation to be cut and hit OK. So next, I'm going to hit P for project and select this face or this face. We're going to project this circle up to this face. So going back to top view, selecting this circle. And now I'm going to hit E for extrude, selecting this profile and this profile, dragging our arrow down. I'm going to key in negative 1 and hit OK. So now I can turn off the visibility of sketch 2. I'm going to hit F to grab our fillet. Selecting this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, this one, this one. Now the fillet value to be 6. And finally, hit OK. And to create our final cut extrusion, which is at this area, I can turn on the visibility of our origin and expand our folder. I'm going to select our XY, right click, and create sketch. Zooming in, I'm going to hit L to grab our line. In addition, I can also select slice to slice through. So going back to front, dropping our first point here and second point here, hitting escape. Going to constraints and selecting parallel, selecting this line and this line. 
Next, I'm going to hit D to grab our dimension, selecting this point and this point, dropping our dimension here. I'm going to key in 26, hitting enter. Hitting E for extrude and selecting this profile. Going to direction and changing this one to symmetric. And for the distance, I'm going to key in 26 divided by 2. Operation cut. And finally, hit OK. So going to origin and turning off. Going to home view. And congratulations for completing our September monthly challenge. And if you appreciate our efforts, please go and join our Facebook group, Autodesk Community Philippines, and like our page, Autodesk Community Philippines as well. Thanks for watching and see you again on the next monthly challenge. All right.